What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and today I will be reacting to secret confessions online. Now I found those confessions online and I was reading through some of them and I thought it was funny so I thought why not make a video about it. So that is what we will be doing. But if you like the energy already, please like this video and also comment down below what you think about these confessions. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends, share it on WhatsApp, share it on Facebook, share it everywhere. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, my TikTok and also my Twitter. And I will follow back. So let's get straight into this video. Let's go. So I'm gonna be reading it from my tablet and we're just gonna see what crazy confessions here is. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Okay. Oh okay, alright, let's see if this works. Somebody said my wife complains that dog farts are unbearable. Stop letting the dog on the bed at night. And then under this person said I never let the dog on the bed. <laughs> so you're telling me it's your fault that are unbearable and the wife thought it was the dog. And you actually blame the dog because why would you just think it's a dog? So you blame the dog. So the next person said, when nobody is watching, I don't chase away the flies that land on me. I really like the feeling of them walking on my skin. What type of weirdo are you? I'm just gonna go to the next one. The next one is kind of sad, like... So, somebody said, I once fired a mother knowing full well she would lose her child. It's been eight years and I think about it almost every day. Well, you should think about it almost every day, like how could you fire someone knowing that if she gets fired she's gonna lose her child like why would you even do that that's just bad it's just horrible the next person said 12 years ago i accidentally smothered a kitten to this day seeing kittens makes me want to cry you accidentally smothered a kitten Wow, how do you accidentally smother the kitten? Okay, the kitten was little and probably didn't know the kitten was over there, but like, shame. I can see you're a sensitive person because it still bothers you and you want to cry when you see a kitten, so shame. The next person said, My mother is proud, I'm making money off my passion of writing. But really, I'm getting paid for adult voice acting recordings, and I like to work. This is this isn't that bad. Okay, you lie, you lie, but you're getting that money. You're getting that money. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Mm -mm. The next one. The next person said I accidentally burned popcorn because no one else likes it like that and I don't have to share. So you accidentally burned popcorn just so that you don't have to share your popcorn. You are sneaky and I like it. <laughs> the next person said when I first got my puppy I wanted to give him away. Well was the puppy ugly or what happened? Or or oh, didn't you expect to get the dog or oh, what happened like why the next person said my mom made me finish my brother's homework so he could graduate high school 10 years later he's a neck beard with no job and no life and i feel like it's all my fault oh so you it's not all your fault i mean your mother made you do the homework for him it's not like you offered to yell. The next person said, try to save a baby bird. Pretty sure I murdered it. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't laugh, I shouldn't laugh. Somebody died, somebody died, somebody's bird died. 
The next person said been a vegetarian for over 10 years and decided to cheat for no apparent reason and eat a burger. Pooped my pants in my car as a result. So your tummy did not like that. The next person said woke my girlfriend up in a way that I knew would put her in a bad mood. Did it on purpose so she didn't know me all day and leave me alone. again so he said woke my girlfriend up in a bad way that i knew would put her in a bad mood i did it on purpose so she would leave me alone all day and ignore him wow guys men in a bed <laughs> somebody said boyfriend no longer works on weekends i miss my alone time <laughs> <laughs> Well, why don't you tell him like you want some alone time sometimes? You shouldn't be there every time like Just communicate to communicate <laughs> Somebody said I always learn by traveling back to friends when they are going overseas I can't afford to go at least my back able to go <laughs> Well, at least your bag went somewhere if you don't. The next person said, I turned the sink on to make it sound like I washed my hands. <laughs> you are dirty. Dirty, very dirty. Don't pretend to wash your hands. Especially now, please wash your hands and sanitize them. If you're not near water, sanitize those hands. Disgusting. The next person said, I'm a pathological liar. I have come to realize it is an issue, but don't know where to start fixing it. Well, to start fixing it, you will have to go to your therapist or just go see someone. If you really want to fix it, like, just go. Someone said, I purposely overcooked the last few cookies. Each batch... I make and put them on top. That way when other people grab one they'll think they all burn and won't eat anymore. You are just greedy. The next person said I go to the gym every day. Good for you. But I only poop there. So you only go to the gym every, every day to poop there. So you only go to the gym every day to poop there. You are disgusting. Disgusting. Are you not embarrassed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? The next person said, My girlfriend thinks that I don't like dogs since I don't want one. I love dogs, but I can't go through the pain of losing one. Oh, so he can't go through the pain of losing a dog. That's why he doesn't want a dog. Why don't you just be honest and say you would like a dog, but you just don't want one? You don't want to get attached and then the dog dies and all that. Completely understand 100%. person said, my son is making more money than me. I ate every bit of it. Now that, that, that is kind of toxic because you shouldn't be hating that your son is making more money than you. You should actually be proud and stuff. Like, what kind of relationship do you guys have that you hate that he's making more money than you? I mean, you should be happy for him. Like, stop that toxicness. Somebody said, Today I realized I hate kids six months pregnant. <laughs> so you're six months pregnant and you realize today that you hate kids. You are in for a surprise. <laughs> The next one said, my boyfriend is 10 years older than me. I think of him as a father figure, but I would never admit that to him. Wait 
read i have to read this again i have to okay this person said my boyfriend is 10 years older than me i think of him as a father figure but would never admit that to him <laughs> girlfriend you must not have your father in your life i'm sorry you must not have your father in your life but why would you why, why would you want a relationship with someone you think of as a father like that's weird like next person said husband died two years ago i don't miss him so your husband died two years ago and you don't miss him did you even love him like why did you guys get married in the first place talk to me the next person said anytime i see an attractive woman with a good job i assume her looks had a role in her getting hired now this is very like you assume that just because she looks good that's the reason that she has a job like there are a lot of beautiful women that are smart they intelligent they are hard working they actually want to work for everything that they have and they actually want to work for everything that they want in life but yeah that's just that low life mindset the next person said i call in sick to work about once every two months to stay at home and play video games Who's grown man is this? Who's this person said, I am a man and when I watch movies, I get emotional and I cry. This is, it's not uh, such a bad thing. I mean, like, there are sensitive men out there that, like, that really gets done, gets emotional and all that. Like, people always say, you're not a man if you cry, but all that is nonsense. Like, if a woman can cry, men can cry too. It doesn't mean it's not strong. You just wear your heart on your sleeve. This person said, every day when I'm cooking, I pretend I'm on a cooking show. I talk to the imaginary house through what I'm doing crack the occasional jokes to my amusement of audience and have my own catchphrase you can always add more spices <laughs> now you seem like a very interesting person like on some real stuff you do seem very interesting like that sounds like fun i don't do that but that sounds like fun because i don't have the time to do all that imaginary thing so the next and the last person said i keep in touch with my ex-wife's family not because i particularly care about them but because i know it pisses her off so you're doing all of that you're communicating with the family and all that just to make her mad now you are wild you're very wild for that so guys this is the end of the video and if you guys enjoyed it please comment down below and also like this video also share it with your friends and family and also follow me on all my socials and i will be back with another video the day after tomorrow